Alberta Health Services. Healthy Albertans, healthy communities, together. Cardiac rhythm devices. Generator change. Hi, my name is Steve, this is Melanie, and this is Michelle. We're here today to tell you why you're getting a device, what the device is going to do, and what to expect when living with the device. When it's time for the generator change, an incision is made. The wires that are connected to the device are tested and then attached to the new generator. The generator is a whole unit that is a pacemaker or defibrillator depending on the type of device you have. The whole unit contains the battery and all the computer circuitry. When it is time for your generator to be changed, here is an example of a generator. The old one will be removed from under your skin. The new generator will go inside. Before they put the new generator in, they will test the old wires that are in your heart. When the wires are tested, the wires that are in your heart already are connected to the new generator. And then it is put inside your skin and sewed up again. The important part for you is to know how to take care of your incision. You will have a gauze dressing. Please do not shower or bath for the first two days. After two days, wash your hands and remove the tape and gauze. You will then see little tapes on your skin called steri-strips. Now you should shower daily to let water run over the incision and gently pat it dry. It is okay if some soap touches the incision, but do not use lotions or powders until it is fully healed. Do not soak in water such as a pool or a bathtub until it is fully healed because this can cause infection. Please see your family doctor in seven to 10 days to check the incision. The steri strips can be removed at this visit or you can take them off while in the shower at home. Most incisions will heal well, but it is important to watch for signs of infection or complications. Please call the clinic if you have any questions or concerns. Signs to watch for are redness, swelling that causes the skin to feel tight, bruising that extends beyond the area of the incision or returns after it is healed. Also, note if the skin feels hot or changes color. Watch for drainage, fever, or chills. Tenderness is normal, but please call if the pain returns or increases significantly after the first few days. If you are unsure, please call. This is what we are here for. It is much easier to catch a problem early instead of late. The clinic phone number is on the bottom of every appointment letter you receive, and it is also on the instruction papers we will give you after your procedure. Things for you to remember are incision care, also when to call the clinic. This information is also written on the instruction papers you will receive after the procedure. You will be given a temporary ID card for your device, which has the serial number of the device. This is temporary paper. The company will mail you a permanent one in a few months. You should keep it in your wallet at all times. Then you will show airport security if you're traveling as you go through the security system. You should let all healthcare professionals know that you have the device. This video was developed for you by the team of registered nurses at the Mazankowski Heart Rhythm Device Clinic. We offer special thanks to Dr. Siva Kamaran, our medical director, for suggesting this project to Toby Guinez, our nurse manager, for her support and enthusiasm. Also, we appreciate our patients whose identity is not shown, but who consented to allow pictures to be taken of their incisions. And a heartfelt thanks to Abbott, Boston Scientific, and Medtronic for animations and pictures in this video.